YouTube. What is up, everybody? We're back here. Another Pioneer League. We got some uh, prototypes here. So these are some new cards from the new set. Uh, they are essentially three drops that I guess I'll put on the curve if, if you want to look at the curve, make it look a little bit better. Although, I guess adding more threes to that spot of the curve maybe doesn't look better. But what this deck is trying to do... The main combo you have is Valky, God of Lies, with Release to the Winds. So if you cast Valky, you can then Release to the Winds it, and you can play the back half, which is Tibalt, Cosmic Imposter, for free. Now, the Release to the Winds happens to also work somewhat decently with prototype creatures, Frustgorger and Proxy. So if you play these for the prototype half, the three mana half, you can Release to the Winds either of the prototype creatures, and then cast the seven mana part for free. So you can either get, you know, a 7-5 Menace Lifelink that has, they have to pay 7 life to kill it, or get a 4-3, which notably, when you cast the 7 mana part of Arc Arcane Proxy, you can flashback Release to the Winds. So you can kind of set up a chain where you have, like, a Proxy and a Flesh Gorger. You go Release the Proxy, cast the 7 mana Proxy, get back the Release, Release the Flesh Gorger, and kind of, like, chain, you chain off a bunch there. Uh, See the Truth also helps you set up your combo of Release Valky, also very powerful with Arcane Proxy. And then the rest of the deck is just some setup. So we have removal spells, fatal push, power word kill, thoughts uses interaction, consider to help find the combo. Also, bin see the truth if we already have proxy. And then shieldred because just, you know, as the kids say, play the good cards. Uh, sideboard, we got dis dispute for the control matchup, extinction event for monogreen, go blank and hearse for the graveyard decks, uh, aether gust and stroke also for monogreen, and then duress and brutality for the control matchup. So I am pretty excited to see how this goes. Uh, maybe it'll be bad, maybe it'll be good, but let's find out. Would have been real cool if Rocky and Proxy had three power. What, on the three mana half? Give me sub now. Oh, the, the, the Jolers. Love the Jolers. We love the Jolers, chat. We love the Jolers. Alright, I'm gonna look at Magic Aids' video. It's possible I didn't credit. Okay, Magic Aids. Is there, like, a link to the deck list or something? Here we go, okay. Uh, okay, this is Magic Aids' deck list. Four Proxy, four C, four Release, four Gorger, two Shieldred. Okay, so this is basically the list that I copied from a League, because I, I hadn't realized when I when I saw it in the 5-0. This is the exact list that I copied from the 5-0 dump. Uh, so somebody copied this list, they 5-0'd with it, I copied their list. I changed a couple of cards, but I did change a couple of cards. But this is very, very close to that Magic Aids list. Which means I guess we shouldn't play it now. All right, new stream. Any cool ideas for pure modern? I'm kind of stumped without my favorite copium MH cards. Um, I would take a look at the tournament. Uh, there, there's a, the in the YouTube video. There's a link to the melee page. There was a deck that uh, Bailey played, which was the Absian Company deck. I like the idea of that deck a lot. Is brutality bugged? Uh, I was unaware. What's the bug with brutality? Should we cut it? I didn't know it was bugged. Sure, they fixed it. That sounds like coping. Oh, okay, now that you mention it, Tombra, I do remember people saying something about that. Yeah, they had to have fixed it by now, right? Because they banned... Yeah, yeah, they, they banned the cards. So they, they, they literally... Well, I saw the tweet saying that they banned... Like, you weren't allowed to enter a league with these cards. And I'm guessing that now that you can enter a league with the cards, they likely fixed it. Right? Because why would you be allowed to play with cards that broke the game? That's never happened before, right? Okay, so this hand doesn't have any combos, but it's just, you know, some interaction and a 3-3, so I guess we'll keep this. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Maybe we just don't board in the Brutality. Play with the 14 card sideboard. I love the Jolers. Successful clickbait easy. It's hard out here for a streamer, okay, chat? You gotta, you gotta clickbait people sometimes. You gotta clickbait people sometimes. Some interaction in a 3-3 sounds like a perfect definition of Pioneer. Yeah, I mean, that's just every Pioneer hand ever, you know? A couple of removal spells in a 3-3. They mold the 4, by the way. Power kill over Heartless Act, because Heartless Act doesn't kill a Shredder that already has a counter on it, and I'm, you know... I could have maybe played the Clearwater Pathway there. It would have been fine. Okay, good start. Uh, Wait, what is this? Do you guys see this? I just noticed this. Uh, we got Real Vegano. Thank you for the two months. Joel, indeed. Much appreciated. Chat, look at this. So I rolled a four, they rolled a three. Then we re-rolled. I rolled a three, they rolled a one. We re-rolled. Rolled a one, rolled a two. Then I rolled a one. I don't get it. 
but they won the roll. What is this? I'm so confused. It's been happening from time to time. Oh, so it just like bugs out with the die roll. That's weird. That is extremely weird, champ. You know, just uh, just magic online things, no big deal. Just normal magic online things. Yeah, loaded dice. They have uh, foil. They have foil dice. My opponent played a swamp and conceded. I don't really want a sideboard. Yeah, I'm just gonna run it back. I should have gone first time to get my points back. Yeah. Well, we could just we have the we have the out clause of just boarding in the brutality if we're in a bad matchup, right? Because then we just play the brutality and get a refund. Just kidding. I'm not suggesting doing that. That was it's a uh, parentheses joke. Parentheses joke. Don't cancel me. Ooh, this hand looks great. Parentheses joke. Yeah, in game. <laughs> in game, by the way. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo. Yeah, well, now they're going to take my proxy, so. Save so a second thoughtsies. Uh, I'm going to play Clearwater on turn one. Well, as a black source, so I can hold up push. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Joel, indeed. Joel's in chat if, you, if you're going to cancel Doom. Yeah, if you want to cancel me, type Joel in chat. Too late, I've already been canceled. Cast a spell every two minutes against me earlier. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. Having a good time tonight. Playing some Arcane Proxy. First time I've cast this card. Well, I haven't cast it yet, but... First time I've registered this card. Ashiok is bad, I agree. Yeah, we got a nice little brewski here going on with uh, some Valky Release to the Winds. And then Release to the Winds plays nicely with both Arcane Proxy and Flesh Gorger. The one thing I'm not sure about is, like... I just don't even know that Flesh Gorger is that good. You know, like as a three drop, as a three mana three three, it doesn't seem that good. And then as like, I mean, I guess if you get to do the thing, it's not bad. Um, but I don't know. It's just it's weird. Okay, so they're playing Grease Fang. Uh, shit, that's not good. Well, uh, you can go. I guess probably Dedge. Get the draw three next turn, but probably dead. The Warden Menace matter more than you think. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe I'm just like, maybe I just haven't, you know, attacked or cast the card yet. Maybe it's a little bit better, like, like the way that I'm envisioning games playing out in Pioneer doesn't seem the best. There's a lot of, like, non-interaction. But, yeah, in, in matchups like Rakdos and, and stuff like that, I could see it being very powerful. I would have said hold double push for Angels. They're not playing Angels. They're playing Grease Fang. They led on Concealed Courtyard. Why did you think they were playing Angels? Oh, you're saying push their two... Okay, I see what you're saying. Push the two angels they get off the Grease Fang. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought, I thought you meant you thought like they were playing angels, so it's like, wait, what? I gotcha, I gotcha. <clears throat> I was so confused for a second. Yeah, and I mean, if you ever get to do like the release of the Winds Flesh Gorger thing and just have a 7-5 Menace Lifelink, if you hit once with this, it's really good, you know? All right, we need a little bit of help here. Uh, that is not a little bit of help. That's actually not help at all. I, I mean, I guess this kind of works, but... Yeah, we drew three cards. Probably not good enough, unless they have literally nothing else. Eh. I mean, we're, we probably can't play around them finding, like, a Enabler and finding Parhelion, right? We just have the Jam Shieldred. We can't really play around much. I mean, we can hold up Odawara, but I think I'm going to give them one turn to just put the Shieldred into play. And then maybe if I get to untap, then I'll hold up stuff, but I just, like, I don't have enough pressure with just the 2-1. Also, if I, like, attack for 2 and pass, they just, they're just going to race me with the Grease Fang if I hold up mana the whole game, so. What would I suggest doing for someone who wants to start streaming? Someone who wants to start streaming. I mean... The most important thing when you're starting out is, like, just trying to find, not your not your niche, but, you know, trying to figure out, like, what you're good at, you know? Also, the most important thing when you're first starting out is don't look at numbers. That that really helped me a lot. Just, like, yeah, there's the option in the Twitch settings to, like, turn off your viewers, turn off, turn off all that stuff. Don't pay attention to any of that stuff. That is the most important thing I could tell you. Um... Kind of weird. I wonder if it's better to just not block, because then it goes back to their hand, and they can't haste it. I think I'm just going to take this. Because isn't it worse for me if they put in the, if they put it back into their graveyard? Ooh, that's not bad. 
Can we play around push? Well, yeah, that also plays around push, too. Uh, I can't really attack, can I? Well, maybe I can. If I attack with both, they probably, what, chump block the Shieldred? Because if they double block and try to trade for Shieldred, I just get to kill this. You know? Yeah, and I have, like, a million removal spells. I'm just wondering if I should also send the proxy. I think I should. I think I can send the proxy. Because <clears throat> the thing about sending the proxy is they're at 8 with a Shieldred in play. You know? I have lethal. 2, 3. <laughs> You're right, I do, don't I? <laughs> I just go push, 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 power word, kill, attack for 6. I mean, yeah, I guess I could do that. I guess, I guess we could do that. <laughs> and if they had push, they would have end of turn the push, right? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> they had a revolt trigger from picking up the chariot. I, didn't, I just didn't even realize that I had lethal. <laughs> okay. Uh, tank, 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 cast four removal spells kill you. <laughs> oh, man. Classic. Classic. Yeah, opponent mold the four, conceded to a Thoughtseize. Game one. And then game two just got quad removal spelled right the fuck out of the game. Yeah, was the stack empty though? Yeah, the classic slow roll. I bitch and complain about my opponent slow rolling me all the time, and then I'm just like, you know, too stupid to realize that I have four removal spells in my hand and my opponent has four creatures in play. <laughs> uh, streamer brain, am I right? Yeah, I mean, they mold the four game one, so. Game one, it was really just like a 1-0. It wasn't really a 2-0. It was a 1-0. I actually don't know if Release to the Wind is an explorer. What's that? Is it from? It's from Rivals of Ixalan. It should be, right? I think they had all the Ixalan cards on Arena. So I believe this should be on Arena. So yeah, this deck is almost probably entirely an explorer, right? Is it missing anything? I don't think it's missing anything. And funnily enough, I might actually have Release of the Winds on my Arena account, because I did draft... Uh, I, I do recall drafting a, a decent amount of Ixalan. The sweetest birth, Electro Dominance into Inevitable Betrayal into Murktide. <laughs> inevitable Betrayal into Murktide, huh? I don't know about that. Alright, 5 land Valky Power Word Kill. A bit sketchy. I'm gonna ship this. Okay, this is better. Uh, let's put back the power word kill, I think. I could just go turn one thoughtsies, and then depending on what they have, I can either Valky or see the truth. Yeah, you did get baited, King of Poners. You did get baited. Successfully baited. Bone Crusher, Fable, Push, Push, Shadow. Interesting. I kind of want to take Shadow. I think it's either Shadow or Fable. The Shadow actually kind of... Mm, I guess the shadow doesn't matter too much. I can't really protect Valky because they have Bone Crusher push push. I'm gonna take Shadow. That might be that might be bad, but and then we just jam see the truth this turn, looking for a proxy. Found PWK release thoughtsies. Well, I guess I'll take release. Yeah, I'll take release. I mean, I can't really set it up through a double push, but. Just gonna stomp me? Alright, bet. Card's gonna bury you. Well, I don't have a third land. I mean, it's obviously greedy trying to, you know, hoping they don't draw a third land, but... Yeah, maybe I should just let them have the shadow. I have so much removal in my deck. Um... It's interesting. Let's play Valky. Okay. Then go Shipwreck Pass. Maybe I'm supposed to wait until turn 5 to play Valky. I'm wondering... It's also possible if I discarded... If I, like... Didn't play the Valky, maybe they just discard both pushes. So now they play second Fable. And we don't know what their last card is. <clears throat> Not playing Ginger now. What are we looking for? Not that. We're looking for Arcane Proxy. Hmm. Yeah, probably should have taken that Fable. 
I think I'm gonna wait until turn five to just do this all in the same turn. But I mean, honestly, now that they have like two Goblin Shaman tokens and a Fable, we probably don't really have enough to like. Yeah, I should have taken Fable. I, maybe this game's different if I take Fable. It's possible. It's possible. If you release Valky, you can have it come back as Tibalt. Yeah, yeah. You get to cast the you get to cast the Valky as either half. That's like the synergy that we're building around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess they drew a second Fable, so it probably didn't matter. Okay, Rakdos. Rakdos. I mean, oddly enough, we like don't really have a ton of cards that are good against Rakdos. Maybe Hearse? Maybe Go Blank? Just like me not mess with the Thoughts Eases. Bring in like two Go Blank Hearse Brutality. Because Thoughts Eases kind of shit against them. Rack Quattro. Rack Cinco. Rack Cinco sounds kind of cool. Yeah, Thursday is amazing. Listening to Thursday on a Wednesday, also amazing. Thank you, folks. I try. I try. I try every time. I actually don't really try every time. Yeah, this song's a banger. Banger. <laughs> I think you want event to set up two for ones. Their curve is kind of... It's tough, though, because they just go, like, Harvester into 3-drop, and Event's kind of awkward against those curves. I mean, if they go, like, Harvester 3-drop into Shieldred, it's better, but... Hope we get Blood Moon in the Pioneer Anthology. Why on earth would you ever want Blood Moon in Pioneer? Pioneer could not handle Blood Moon. There's no way in hell Pioneer could handle Blood Moon. Dear God. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Think you want the discard? I mean, it doesn't sound that weird. I was thinking about it, but I also don't really know what I don't want. Like, maybe you just want to keep in two Thoughtsies over these two. I, I guess that's fine. I don't want a ton of discard, bud. Are you trying to out midrange them as losing battle? I mean, if we get to set up Proxy See the Truth, I don't really think that's the case. Like, their deck has a hard time beating a 2-1 that draws three. I mean, it's not the easiest to set up post-board, especially if they board in their own hearses, but... I guess I could also cut Proxy... I could like trim on proxy because of hearse. We could go. We could do this. Eh, I don't know. It's tough. No, I don't. I don't like that. I'm just gonna do this. <clears throat> I think you go all in on the cheese plan. Maybe. I mean, I like hearse too, but maybe I should be trimming more on the see the truth proxy stuff because of their hearses. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fetchless Mana will never survive under Moon. Yeah, exactly. Like, Blood Moon cannot... Blood Moon cannot exist in a format that does not have fetch lands. Like, the format would literally become unplayable. And before people say, oh, the format's already unplayable. Like, you, it, it, would, it would just be all monocolor decks. You would not be allowed to play anything but monocolor decks. In a crash. I mean... Uh, you know, fuck it, we ball. Damn it. Always have it. Didn't expect it to work, but, you know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, just keep taking cantrips to try and find proxy. I mean, is it possible that I was supposed to hold this until turn 5? I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we know they have... They have push, bridge, second dread boar, right? And then one unknown. I think I'll discard this push. I don't want to take 3. I also just kind of want 5 mana to be able to set up release Valky in the same turn. Okay, well, I got to push anyways. Can always fire up the uh, the hive next turn to eat the Kroxa. Yeah, fuck it, we ball. Is Knight of the Reliquary too strong? What do you even get with Knight of the Reliquary? I don't think so. I don't know what you'd even get with Knight. Yeah, we know they have push too. It's all bad. I think I have to eat the push out of their hand. Because my only out is drawing Valky and for you know what I mean? Setting up release Valky. Okay, this works out pretty well for me. Keeping the steam vents. Not that's right, but. Well, 
Oh shit, I should have played I should have played Melee first. I mean they wouldn't kill with the trigger on the stack, but No No How How mm. Go God damn it. Yeah. That's so unfortunate. Even if they drew one push, I mean I guess they just wouldn't fire it off. Do we make them use the second push? If I if I make them use the second push, they just get the crooks to me for free, so I think I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, because of the crooks so. God. Yeah, I could also draw another Valky. My brother in Christ. Come on. <laughs> Can't you brick? I have to cast that now because my only out is drawing Thoughtse drawing Valky and setting up the combo in one turn. I have to take Fatal Push. I guess they still just have Dreadboard for Valky, so. Yeah, they don't they they can't brick, but I can brick. That's the that's the joke. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop to this crook, so. I mean I could release it, but whatever. Not playing that game anymore. I'm off it! No, this is just a Demir deck. We're not playing red. I mean we have a steam vents in our deck to hardcast Valky, but that's the only reason we have one steam vents. Otherwise we're just a Demir deck. God, their draw was so good. <laughs> I mean, I drew pretty well to find the, you know. The Valky in the release, but them drawing back to back fatal pushes was kind of frustrating. To fly. Play Elder Dragon War over Fable. Isn't that the four mana one? I'm pretty sure that card is hot, hot garbage, right? Somewhere we live inside. In the spirit of the Ultimate Rhino's Guide, this is a bad matchup, complaint and scoop. Yeah, sideboard out your crashing footfalls and bring in territorial kavus. The ultimate rhino sideboard guide. Step one: see if your opponent has played a blue land on turn one. Uh, step two: if they've played a land that produces blue mana, concede the game. No, it's not that bad. The one good thing about playing rhinos is your hammer matchup is absurd. Like, I, my record against hammer time has to be—it's uh, got to be crazy some way. It's got to be somewhere in the seventies. That matchup is so free for Rhinos, especially post-board. Game 1 can be a little sketchy, but, like, post-board is just, it's not even fair. Play Goblins. Goblins probably good versus Hammer too, yeah. There's plenty of decks that are good against Hammer. Founding a third path is an additional way to Ancestral would see the truth. Uh, you could maybe play Founding over, like, additional removal spells like Power Word Kill, but I really wanted Power Word Kill as an answer to Shieldred because we don't really trigger Revolt that often, and by that often I mean we don't really trigger Revolt ever, so Fatal Push isn't, is rarely going to be able to kill Shieldred unless they give you a Revolt trigger. So I wanted a clean answer to Shieldred, but I think you could play it in that spot if you wanted to, if you're, like, less expecting less Shieldreds or something, but, you know, everybody's playing that card. Uh, One Lander, Sag. Well, we have the combination, so I guess I'm going to keep this. Back the... River... Forest. Alright, Fatal Push. Fatal Push, please. It's not a Fatal Push. Mono Green Karn is pretty good against Hammer. Oh, what, like the Spike Devotion deck? Probably true. Hmm. The Double Haven. I was just going to say, we need to draw exactly Release to the Winds, and we drew exactly Release to the Winds. Still might not be enough. But maybe. Just maybe. I wish Tibalt could go after lands. <laughs> just pull up their forest. Alright, what do you got? Show me like three... Oh, show me like one cav, two lands. Elvish Mystic Lovestruck Beasts. Okay. Fuck, now they're gonna card Needle. You think they see the line? They're 100% just going to needle this, right? God, that's so annoying. There's no world where they don't needle this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it! I feel like you should get Planeswalkers, to be honest. True. Dude, they must have drawn a land, right? I mean, I guess they can always just get the needle next turn, right? Because I can't kill... Yeah, I can't kill the Karn with the Valky. Yeah, so even if they get, like, a boat this turn... And then I go release in the winds, play tip ball, down tick on an elf. They just go, oh yeah, they just play the boat, kill the tip ball. Yeah, so I can't do that. I have to like uptick, but they still just get needle. 
Why did we not take Mystic? Then we could activate, release the wins. They don't get the card back. Is that how that works? No, I thought they still got their card back. If I took their elf... Also, how does that work? Oh, okay. Maybe that would have been better. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Because, yeah, because I could have went pay a mana, make an elf, play land, use three mana, play release the winds. It's a good point. See, I thought they got the card back regardless. That's how I thought it worked, bud. They got boat. Yeah, I, I assumed they got the card back, but that would be so weird. Like, where would it? It would just stay exiled if you if you killed the Valky after you copied. That would, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, so I can go release Tybalt. If I can't down tick because we know they have boat, but if I up tick, they just get needle. Um, I mean, I don't really have any other lines, so I guess we're just gonna do this. I could. Oh, you know what I could have done. I could have attacked Karn first, because it's an instant, so I could have, like, attacked Karn, see if they decided to block. I mean, they're they're gonna block, right? There's no way they're not blocking. But I, I should have attacked first, just in case they don't want to block. I can't imagine a world where they don't block, but... Yeah, we have to uptick, because we know about the bolt. Excuse me, the boat, so we have to at least force them to get Needle. But this is gonna be a rough one. Troll Push, those are not bad cards. I don't know if they're good enough, though. No longer has the text that it has to do with the templating. Yeah, I mean, so the 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 card says, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals their hand for each opponent. Exile a creature card they get revealed this way until Valky leaves the battlefield. Um, I guess it also does say Valky becomes a copy of that card, so it is no longer Valky. There's some weird rules with that, but I agree. It It, it is kind of strange. It is kind of strange. They drew Storm the Festival. That can't be good for me. Monarch guy that exiles when you're the monarch. Yeah, Palace Jailer. Well, that one's different, right? Because if Palace Jailer... Like, if you Palace Jailer, you become the monarch and you steal their creature. If they kill Palace Jailer but don't take the monarch back, they don't get their creature back, right? Whenever a permanent refers to itself, it means this card. Okay, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, it would make sense to me. I, I'm pretty sure they get the card back. I agree with you. Yeah, maybe Palace Jailer must be boarded differently. Palace Jailer is out and they take the monarch, they get the creature back. Right. So how does how does Palace Jailer work? If I kill if Palace Jailer dies, and then the mon and then okay, so I play Palace Jailer, I take your creature, you kill my jailer and attack me. You get the creature back, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it says you exile it until they become the monarch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Hmm. Chat, I believe we have been defeated. Yep, we're done. We are done. All right, Gust, Stroke, probably Duress, Extinction Event. Oh, I mean, maybe go blank too. Doesn't seem like a good Flesh Gorger matchup. I don't know if I want to cut the proxies too. Maybe I can trim a proxy. I mean, I am trying to go. I this this, this is a matchup where I have to combo. I don't think I can afford to not combo. I'll I'll trim a See the Truth. Although. See, the truth helps me set up the combo on turn two, so it's not that bad. Maybe I got shielded. Bring in, like, one go blank. Yeah, we're just kind of all in on the combo here. Which is awkward, because we don't have really a good answer for Needle, so we have to, like, set up the combo and try to keep them off Karn. I mean, I'm gonna keep this. What's the point of the combo if you're gonna scoop the Needle? Well, I mean, the idea is you thought he's their Karn, you know. But that didn't happen that game. Like, you have outs to Karn, you have thoughts to use, you have post board, you have to stand full struck. Maybe I should be bringing in Duress, too. Yeah, I could cut the Rebirth. Probably should have brought it in. I probably should have brought in more, more discard spells for Karn. Because Karn is, like, the card that matters the most. I don't want to do it alone. Hmm. Let's play. Black Pathway Pass, I think. And then if they don't play an Elf, I'll consider. But if they play an Elf, I kind of want a Power Word Kill. Okay. Because the cool thing about that line is if they go Elf, I go End Step Power Word Kill, I can consider into Valky and then release on four. They found Karn. So we will go Kill Your Elf. Now we kind of need to find a discard spell. That is not a discard spell. 
Filt. Mm -hmm. Karn 4 is only broken because it can bingo so much cards against the deck that basically can only move with Cyborg. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the issue with Karn. It just it makes your 60 card deck have the consistency of or like you have the consistency of a 60 card deck with the versatility of a 75 card deck. That's why Karn is so oppressive. Look, I've been saying since February they should ban Karn. <laughs> I'm still kind of on that same boat. <laughs> All right, let's go see the truth. Cool, now we can take Valky. And I'm going to take Old Growth Troll. Because that's the only thing they can play next turn. Well, they have the they have a Haven, but... Why are they not playing Haven? Uh, hello? Why you no play Haven? I mean, at this point, I'll just take... I guess I'll take one of the Karns. I should attack first. They just, like, foregore. They had Haven. They foregore. They foregore. This isn't scape shift. You're right. That it, you are correct. It's not scape shift. Well, I can play the elf. Let's go. My elf now. What's good? Do we think it's Karn or another card to ban or just Karn for now? I, honestly, I know this is maybe a hot take. I think Karn, I think Karn is fine without Nykthos. Or, excuse me, other way around. I think Nykthos is fine without Karn. That's what I meant to say. I think Nykthos is fine without Karn. Hot take, I agree. But that's my stance. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, I'm going to try to consider into a discard spell for Karn. I guess I have proxy. Yeah, I can just proxy. Uh, I don't think I need that. So now we can go... I guess I can Kiora first. Uh, so let's go Kiora. Untap a land. Play Proxy. Proxy back Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize their Karn. This is cool. We're doing stuff, chat. We're doing stuff. Uh, Alright, Cav Cav, Kiora Troll. I can beat all that. Especially with the Extinction event. 100% agree, Mono Green would be great without Karn. Yeah, I think Mono Green's fine. I think Mono Green is totally fine without Karn. Like, you get rid of the combo, you get rid of the toolbox aspect of Karn. Uh, the fact that Karn, Karn's static is so oppressive against so many decks, like, I, I think Karn is to I think, I think, you know, as long as Karn is gone, I think Nykthos is totally fine. Uh, I mean, we're just ulting, right? Fuck yeah, we are. I don't know if this is right, but if it's, if it's wrong, I don't want to be right. All right, what do we got? Um, let's see. I guess I could play another Valky. To, like, play a Valky and downtick on their Cav. I, I think I'd rather just wait. Um, I have too many options now. Do we have anything to Karn for? I have a Hearse. <laughs> oh, I could Karn for Flesh Gorger. That's actually kind of dope. Uh, okay, so let's go... Play Karn. Yeah, we can Karn for Flesh Gorger. Karn, get Flesh Gorger. Can I cast it for the full half? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the Kiora. I sure can. Uh, untap my land. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> Draw a card. Draw a card. You'll love to see it. Didn't think I'd be triggering Kiora Behemoth Beckoner with my Phyrexian Flesh Gorger this game, but, you know. Yeah, the old draw from Kiora as well. Could a proxy to draw three cards? I mean, we can also see the truth from Exile. If we see the truth from Exile, we still get to draw three cards. You know what I mean? Like, we're gonna draw three off this regardless. We can lose now in some ser crazy series of events. I don't think so, because I have the Karn. They can't activate artifacts. I guess if they find Karn, they can, like, Karn Boat kill the Karn. So maybe it's possible, but I guess I guess anything's possible, yeah. You know what's weird too? <laughs> if I extinction event, I lose my flesh scorcher. Okay. Uptick. You're at eighteen. Just carn it back. Yeah, I could I could carn it back too. Um They have one card. 
the layer of the Hydra, which we have covered. Pretty sure I am... Huh. The other thing I could do is I could release to the winds my Flesh Gorger, then cast Event, right? Let's do that. Let's go... Release to the winds Flesh Gorger. Could Karn for Hearst, too. Oh yeah, I can Karn for Hearst in the Storm. That's actually kind of good, too. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I can still do that, actually. So we can go play a land. Kiora, untap a land. Then we can go one, two, three, four, extinction event. Name odd. Go down tick Karn. Get hearse. Play hearse. I don't need to exile the storm immediately. Uh, play a flesh gorger. Draw a card. Your turn. Good turn. Good turn. Good turn. We don't need to hold up the push because we have the gorger, right? Yeah, I didn't need to. I didn't need to main phase this because I can just wait for them to use the Kiora, and I can respond to the Kiora activation and then hearse. So, can you card for a prototype? I did that last turn. I card for a prototype last turn. All right, maybe they drew another storm. Eight mana, ten mana. Okay, you have a troll. I guess they could have fired this up, but I could just chump block. Be trading? I mean, I could honestly just like let a planeswalker die. I have a second Tibalt over here. Like, if they attack Tibalt, I could just let it die. Because then I can crack back and kill Kiora, which is nice. They're attacking me. All right, I'll take six. Like, this thing has lifelink. <laughs> uh, all right, plus on nothing. They're at 18. Let's go... Minus here. Then we get to go... Attack Kiora. And now I can go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. So we can go... I'm gonna, I'm gonna thought seize them just to make sure. Okay, they have a land. So let's play... Three, four, five, six. Let's go. Watery Grave untapped. Play the Tibalt. And we can go uptick Tibalt. Untap Flesh Gorger. All right, your turn. <laughs> yeah, you don't need a red source to cast from Exile because the Tibalt can be played for any color of mana. <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised they're still playing. I mean, maybe they have outs? I don't know. Do they have outs? It's possible. They're still attacking me. All right, fine. I'll, t I'll take eight. <clears throat> yeah, we have. We now have two Tibalt emblems. Uh, ooh, Nykthos? Do I, how much devotion do I have? Uh, I don't really have any devotion. Uh, all right, bless on nothing. They have one card. I should probably attack before I cast Thoughtseize, because I would not like to die. <coughs> yeah, we're dead to Anyaro Beasting, unfortunately. <laughs> I, can, I have I have Kiora Nykthos. Uh, so what can we do here? We can go Arcane Proxy. Eh, let's draw some cards first. Let's go... I want, I want to hold up Fatal Push. One, two, three, four, five, six. I already played a land for the turn. I'll play the Nykthos. So... I guess I'll just play, like, an Old Growth Troll. Let's go, like, play Old Growth Troll, draw a card. Uh... I don't know. Play an Elf, play an Elf. Surely this is lethal, right? Hold up Fatal Push for their stupid lair. Uh, discard. I could have maybe held up Aethergust. They stage were exactly Storm. I should have held up Aethergust. Uh, sure. Okay. Don't care. Resolves. 
Oh, that's true. Yeah, it was plus two after Nykthos Resolve. That's a good point. Well, now they're dead, so... All right, Aether Gust, your homie. Combat. Why is this game still going? I don't know. I think maybe if they drew Storm the Festival, they, they maybe could have had outs, but I doubt it. They're just letting me have my fun, you know? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I do appreciate people letting me have my fun. It is nice of them. All right, take lethal. Game three. Yeah, doing it for content. Content. Okay, so... I mean, Fraction Flesh Scorcher is pretty good that game, but we just got to take their cards. I kind of want these duresses. I think Goblank's kind of shit on the draw. Is this deck good? I don't know if this deck's good. I hope it's good. Mm, at least one duress. Cut the rebirth, maybe. Yeah, we don't. We don't really want the rebirth. I just want max discard spells for Karn. Doing it to make me content. I am content. All right. So discard spell slash fatal push into see the truth. This hand's good. This hand's got to be good. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun so far. We got kind of shit on by Rakdos, but it's been fun. I've been having a good time with it. You hard guessed it, ball. Uh, I mean, you can, once you get the emblem with the first tip ball, but the idea is just go turn two Valky and then turn three Release of the Winds, and then you can cast the tip ball for free. You can cast the back half for free. Dude, this fly is pissing me off. Three triggers that appear on screen. Does the order I click them determine the order they go in the stack or the order that they resolve? The first one you click, Ventus, is going to be the last one that resolves. So first in, first out. Think of it like that. So, like... If you have, you know, like, a Shredder trigger and whatever trigger, if you put the Shredder trigger on the stack, then the other one, that's, the other one's going to resolve first, then the Shredder trigger, if that makes sense. What three drops do I care about duressing? It's, like, exactly Kiora. I still think I'd rather... This is close. Between duress and see the truth. See the, tr see the truth is a much better use of my mana is the issue. And I can't duress troll anyways. Ooh. You ever just draw three cards? You ever just you ever just want to draw three cards? Maybe I'm supposed to take release to the winds there. <laughs> no, there's no way. I gotta take the proxy. I can't pass up a draw three. So if I draw three and they have Karn, I guess that's worst case scenario. I could just go duress fatal push. It's probably safer. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Keck W. Well, awkward. Your turn. I mean, this is a good hand for this extinction event, I guess, but... Yeah, odd tribal. Find an elf. We can arcane proxy draw three and try to hit another fatal push. I Maybe mean, a third fatal push if they play an elf, but... <laughs> Heart's Desire. Okay, that's fine. I... That's actually not a bad one. That is not a bad one. I will take three new cards. Thank you very much. I would like to draw three cards. Pod Racing. Uh, there's no reason to Fatal Push this, so... Just pass. We have Release of the Winds Proxy. Which we could flashback a Push or Duress if we did that, but... Yeah, they, they can't cast any of their cards because they have Nykthos. I mean, they, they could just also draw Forest, but probably just Lovestruck Beast. Yeah, that's fine. I can defeat a Lovestruck Beast. I'm not going to push the token. Hmm. I guess I can block the Lovestruck Beast and then release the proxy, which is not bad. I, got, I mean, I got nothing else to do, right? I could also, like, release the proxy and then push the Lovestruck Beast. Because I get a revolt trigger off their release. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna block and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna block release. So I'll leave up mana like this. Proceed. Also, blinking the or getting rid of the proxy, getting the proxy off the battlefield is nice if I'm trying to set up a uh, extinction event at some point. I'm probably just gonna push now, while I have the revolt trigger, because I won't necessarily have a. Guaranteed Revolt Trigger. And now we can also 
we can proxy duress the Kiora, which is maybe good. Um, hmm. Troll, troll, Cav, Kiora. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna proxy duress. Oh, I guess I can also fire up the hive. All right, so duress you, take the Kiora. Kiora and Karn. I think I'm still taking Kiora. What's up, big blue boy? All right, attack for three. Get rid of probably Kiora. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Proxy release the proxy, proxy duress. There's, there's really no point in getting rid of the release in the graveyard. Right, because, like, hypothetically, we could draw, you know, maybe another proxy down the road and we want to save the release. Like, it, it just doesn't accomplish anything, you know? <laughs> storm count. Yeah, I guess I guess it accomplishes storm count. I mean, this is a... It's a three-turn clock. Should I power word kill the human token? I think I actually should. It's, like, really aggressive, but... I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Otherwise, they can chump block. Remember to leave good spells in the graveyard to Tibalt. Mm. I thought about getting rid of good spells for Cavalier triggers, but... It's close either way. You, you could make an argument either way, probably. So now they probably can't block and they go to three, which means this hive is almost certainly just lethal. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I die from this position, right? I can't imagine dying from this position. Like, what do you think? Just go troll pass. Yeah, we can also event plus hive. That's what I was thinking too, but we don't need to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Got him. Got him. <laughs> All right, two and one chat. Let's go. Let's keep it going. You just have to have the mono green deck never draw green producing lands. That's all. That's how you beat mono green chat. <laughs> Folks, that's all you need to do. Pioneer for dummies. Just make your opponent not draw their green lands. And yeah, they finally drew their third green source on turn nine. <laughs> Oh, you'll love to see it. I run Founding of the Third Path in my version of this deck, though. It just makes me see, makes see the truth easy to set off. Yeah, we were talking about that. I think you could play Founding the Third Path in the Power Word Kill spot, but I really just wanted another clean answer to Shield Rid. That's why I'm playing Power Word Kill. Yeah, they're really, really jealous of all the lands that I have in play. <laughs> mm, I mean, I'm not saying that, but I'm not not saying that. Uh, Valky Proxy Lands. I think I'm going to ship this. All right. Second hand. A little bit better. I think I'm going to keep this. I mean, it's not a ton better, but... Better enough. Giggy, sa Giggy says hi, chat. Everybody say hi to Giggy. Hi, Giggy. I like Power Word Kill over Go for the Throat because there's a lot of people playing Sky Sovereign and Chariot. So I don't want to play Go for the Throat when Sky Sovereign and Chariot are so prevalent. That's the that's the biggest reason why no Go for the Throat. And Heartless Act does not kill Ledger Shredder or Thing in the Ice, so I don't like Heartless Act. I think Power Word Kill kills the most amount of things. So you know, maybe you play, maybe you queue into Angels and you feel shitty about your life. But outside of outside of exactly Green White Angels, I don't think it misses much else. I guess Mutavolt, yeah, but you have four Fatal Push, so. Do we have a good matchup against the Angels? I don't know. Maybe. Mono green. Mm, I'm going to save the rebirth. I guess Mayhem Devil, yeah. True, that's a good point. It is, a, it is in fact, a devil. When the Mayhem Devil is also a devil. Hmm. Not mono green, perhaps, huh? I've been bamboozled caught with my pants down yeah but heartless act doesn't kill thing or shredder i don't like that i think again no matter what two mana removal spell you play it's going to miss something you just have to figure out what you want to miss the most 
And I think this deck in particular is the most scared of Shieldred because of, you know, proxy release of the winds. Mm, what does ultimate price not hit? Ultimate price doesn't hit third path iconoclast, mayhem devil, blood tithe harvester. Yeah. We'll go for the throat, misses boat and and chariot. So I don't think I like that one. Okay. Mm oh, we actually have the combination set up. I can rebirth my flesh gorger after I block. So that's good. Why don't we just start with the thoughtsies? That's not really the hand that I wanted to see. I mean, there's no really no point in taking a chariot. <laughs> we just have to hope they never draw land, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll consider main phase. All right, I'm going to hold up the Malakir Rebirth, I believe. And then just like hope they don't find a land and beat them with a 7-5. Am I stupid for suggesting Heartless Act? No, you're not stupid. I mean, it is reasonable. Um, it just, it doesn't kill Thing of the Ice or Ledger Shredder, that's the issue. Price mixes Mrs. Croaks a Sovereign. Oh yeah, that's true. Price misses Colorless Cards too. Could do like, um, what was the non-legendary one? Is that Cast Down? Non-legendary is Cast Down, right? I think. So that one misses... What does that one miss? That one misses Croaksa? Oh, that one misses Shieldred. No, you can't play that card. You can't play that card. It misses Shieldred. All right, I'm not going to Fatal Push now, because I kind of want them... I, I mean, I don't think they're going to triple block, but maybe they do. That is an interesting draw step. Probably not great, but interesting. I mean, I guess with three Chariots, they probably just go Crew and then double block with the 1-1, right? They do have three Chariots. <laughs> yeah, they probably just go Crew, double block with the 1-1 and the 4-4. Four four. And then I go Fatal Push this, play See the Truth. Yeah, there's just too many Legends. Alright, they are going to Crew. I will Fatal Push your 1-1. One, one. Damage. 26. Let's go play See the Truth. Shieldred's good. Shieldred is a good one. Can't play it this turn, but... Good one for next turn. Yeah, five toughness. I mean, the issue is they just play another chariot, right? I'm still going to be in a weird spot next turn. This is still kind of a terrible spot for me. <clears throat> Can even go, like, attack for four, play chariot. Crew the chariot, double block with the beast and the chariot. And then I, like, trade for chariot and they just have a third one. <laughs> it's, like, kind of a weird spot. Yeah, shieldred is $50. Not for the faint of heart. Your wallet will not appreciate you if you purchase Shieldred. Whoa! That's not good. <laughs> Shit. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could draw release. I've still I have to pay seven life if I draw release, right? Yeah, I guess I have to play Shieldred. This is not good, though. Justin, thank you for the raid, buddy. Much appreciated. Welcome, everybody, from Justin's stream. We're playing some Pioneer, trying to do some prototype uh, prototype action with Release of the Winds, also Valky. Uh, if you're new here, be sure to hit that follow button. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome. Doom Hypes in the chat. Hey, they did pay 7 life. The old minus 7 Keck W. But the thing is, they just gained the 7 back, you know? So it, like, doesn't really matter. They paid 7 life, but they're just gonna get the 7 back. Yeah, it turns out when you when you tr do a bunch of work to put a 7-5 into play and your opponent steals it, not the best. Not the best. Kinda dicey. Kinda dicey. I will take 7. Minus 7, Keck W. Once again, if you're new to the stream, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you a single penny, and it greatly helps out the stream. Ooh, drew the release. So... Alright, this thing has to attack, huh? Hmm. Interesting. This is such a weird spot. 
I think I have to go, like, attack with Shieldred. Well, I have to attack with Shieldred. Might as well start with that. Shieldred literally has to attack, so. I'm just debating. Okay. I was debating if I wanted to release the Shieldred, but if they make this trade, I'm just going to release the, the Flesh Gorger. I guess I can also thought these, right? I have to take I have to go minus nine. Alright. Minus nine kick W. Minus nine kick W. Get Gorger next turn anyways. No, because they it so if I pass turn, there would go tap the Gorger, crew the chariot with this trigger on the stack. You can you can respond to the third chapter. Tap this, crew the chariot, then this would die. So if I pass, I lose my flesh gorger. Yeah, it happens. It happens a lot when I play this deck. That is a that is a very very common line that that comes up. Oh right, they just have besage you. <laughs> I forgot they had besage you. All right, we're dead anyways. I just I just missed they had besage you. All right, green red vehicles probably want extinction event. We want aether gust. Stainful stroke hits what? Boat, Chariot, and a Crowin War? It's not awful. I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of Thoughtseize against them. Mm, could probably go down on the Proxy Seed the Truth stuff. Maybe bring in the Stroke. Yeah, let's do that. I think I want to keep in all the Flesh Gorgers. Just, you know, 3-3 three, three, Lifelink Body on 3 is probably fine. Fine enough. <laughs> A land that's also a removal spell, huh? Deck is based. What was uh, what was Justin up to today, by the way? For those of you coming in from Justin Stream, I assume Vintage. Maybe he's playtesting Legacy for Eternal Weekend. All right, what do we got? Fatal Push, See the Truth, Flesh Gorger. Yeah, I'm in. That sounds fine. Born of Osiris. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I, I guess like maybe the. The drum chart. I see what you're saying. I can I can kind of pick up I pick up what you're putting down a little bit. I'm gonna move my microphone away because I'm yelling at you guys. Now I'm no longer yelling. I mean I'm still yelling, but you just can't hear it as much. I'm always yelling. That is a Poggers draw. Hmm. What two drop do I care about? Not much. I'm going to take Release to the Wind. I could take an untapped land that doesn't shock me. My life total's kind of sketchy. No, uh, it's got to be the Release, right? It has to be the Release. Because we can set up, like, chains where we, like, release the pro release the proxy, get back Release, then release this. We can, we can do, like, the chain with the sand. Prototype by Outcast. Your channel point broke! How could you be channel point broke? 3-3, three, three, huh? I could Fatal Push hold up Aether Gust. I wonder if I like that better. Just Gust their 3. I almost kind of like that better. Maybe that's, maybe that's weird, but I think I like that better. I don't want to Gust that. I mean, maybe if they do nothing else, but... Do I care? Sure, I guess I'll Gust. I just want to use my mana. All right, two people redeem Prototype Outcast. So I guess we're going to listen to it twice? Or I could refund one of them. Should I refund one? Gamble wise and channel point foolish. Well, I will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do a Gamba. I'll refund the second person who requested it, which is technically Gilly. Are you, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Gilly is saying, Gilly is stepping up. I will refund Gilly. Let me go. Quests. Where is it? Song requests. Alright, refunded. Oh wait, I refunded Gilly. Hey, you know what, you can both have it. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Alright, it'll play after the song. Anyways. Um, let's do the thing. How does Rebirth work with prototype cards? It works the way that you want it to. So if you, if you, like if I block with a, with a prototype thing, it comes back as the big half. So it works the way that you want it to. Um, now that I've drawn Valky, I kind of need to play this as a land, so I have land five untapped for Valky release. Uh, as much as I want to save the the Malakir Meyer for this, I think it's just better to do it this way. 
Well, it works with proxy in the sense that you get the bigger body, but you don't get the trigger because arcane proxy specifically says when it enters the battlefield if you cast it, which means that when it comes back to the battlefield off of this, you're not casting it. But you still get the bigger body. Hmm. Well, this sure is awkward. If I Valky Tybalt, what is the likelihood that they can kill Tybalt if I uptick through a blocker? Because if they have Stomp, let's assume they go Land Stomp, right? They go tap two mana. That would be enough, right? Land Stomp. Stomp, land, Bone Crusher, tap the Bone Crusher to crew, attack for eight. So I guess we can Valky first, and if they don't have Stomp, then we can go release uptick. Right? I think I like that. Let's let's Valky first and see what's up. Alright, I'll put that Song Request in the queue after this turn. Okay. Chariot, a Crow and War, Stormseeker. Okay, so now if they get the Stormseeker back, they go play Stormseeker. That also does it, right? Oh no, because I have a chump blocker. Okay. Yeah, okay. We just have to hope that they don't draw Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, we have to hope they don't drop Bone Crusher Giant. I think I have to take this line. It is a little greedy, but... Okay. Like, I feel like if we get to untap, we're in, we're in a really good spot. It's usually what happens when you play a Valky. Or a Tibalt. Alright, Chucky versus the Giant Tortoise. In the queue. Isn't targeting the proxy guy first free? Oh, you're right. That's a good point. Yeah, if I target this, I get a 4-3 blocker. You're right. That was that would have been much better. Yeah, I go I go get this, cast it, flashback the release, release this. Yeah, that would have been better. Because then I don't lose the stop, yeah. Yep. Yep, that would have been crazy. And I was just talking about that earlier too, and I just forgot about it. No, it does work. So if you release to the winds arcane proxy, I said that this didn't work because this returns it to the battlefield. Arcane proxy says if you cast it, release lets you cast it. So it does work with release. No, no, no. It just says if you cast it, not if you cast it from hand. Oh, I guess this does, this does it too now, right? They just go tap, tap, crew, attack for seven. Fuck. Yeah, that does it too. Magic noobs, happy birthday, buddy. Can we get some feels birthday man for in the chat for magic noobs? Or is that a bot? Is it maybe a bot? What do you think, chat? Unclear. No, it's not your birthday, Def Chat. Come on. All right, Valky has been defeated. Yeah, I hadn't thought about them just drawing a land and stealing with a Crow and War. So now their hand is Stormseeker Chariot. Can go Extinction Event even. It's kind of a weird spot. Mm. Extinction Event even play Pack Leader. And they just have this. God, they have so much stuff left over too. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think I, I think I have to take the extinction event line. So let's go play island. I could also maybe hold up aether gust. It's holding up aether gust better. Hold up stroke for second chariot. Yeah, I guess holding up gust stroke is good because if they play this, I can gust it. If they play this, I can stroke it. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Well, the thing is, they're not going to jam the second chariot, right? They're just going to jam this. But I guess that's fine. I still just... Oh, I don't have Gust. Well, I thought I had Gust. And I thought I had Gust. I don't know why. I, I When I saw this, I looked quickly, and I thought this was a Gust. It, it looks like a Gust. It looks like a Gust. All right. Shouldn't we have held release to exile in response to a Crone War stealing? What do you mean? I was tapped out. No, I cast release on my main phase on the Valky. <clears throat> Oh, I see what you're saying. You wanted to release this. I see what you're saying. You wanted to release this. Which I guess we could do now, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So now I can I can release this. And then cast it for seven. You can also just make a big idiot too, right? So I can go play Gorger, release the proxy, play proxy for seven. Flashback release, release the Flesh Gorger, play Flesh Gorger, pass with a 4-3 and a 7-5. I wanted to release before they got it so they don't get the crew, for example. All right, let's go Flesh Gorger. Get to push something, too. No, I have a tap land. I can't push because I have a tap land. I don't quite have enough mana.
All right, you can go. Don't have a second of Crow and War, please. You could have if you didn't Flesh Gorger stuff. Well, I, I think I have to play the Flesh Gorger there, right? God ah, damn it! Wait, this is fine, right? Now I just play this for seven. Flashback, release, release, target the Flesh Gorger. This is fine. I guess they can haste it. But I'm not dead, right, if they haste this. I mean, it's bad, but... Oh, then I can't pay the life. Yeah, I am dead. Yeah, because then I can't pay the life. God damn it. Fuck. Yeah, they give it haste. So now we go to two and I can't pay the life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It also has menace. This matchup, not very good. When we're trying to put a 7-5 lifelink into play and they have four Crone Wars, it doesn't seem like the best lineup. It does not seem like the best lineup. Could draw Extinction Event. Hmm... Proxy cast release, proxy cast event, hold up stroke. You can't proxy event. Mana value less than or equal to its... Oh, you can! Huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, no, I have to tap out, right? I can't hold up stroke if I do that. Because if I proxy for three... If I proxy for three, I can't flash back this release. No, oh, I know I have seven, so I can just cast the one from hand, yeah. That's my only line. Gust the war. But then I get this thing back tapped, right? If I gust the war. Also, no, because if I if I go proxy gust, main phase, they just put the crone war on top and cast it again, right? Why would I do that? Gust war counter war. Okay, so you go proxy for three, flashback gust, gust the crone war, they put it on top, I get this back. Okay, and then I have enough to power word kill and stroke. Okay. Yeah, I guess that does it. That does it, right? Blue, blue. Okay. Yeah, that does it. We attacked. Yeah, but that's fine. We have power word kill. So we can go gusts. Gusts the Acroan War. Well, yeah, and I, also I attacked because I thought I was going to be casting... Um, I attacked because I thought I was going to be casting the Extinction Event, but this, this line's just better, I think. Chef Seth says, is there a Dono spot open tomorrow? No, tomorrow's full. Tomorrow's full. What a sick game. This deck's got lines to it. This deck's got some lines to it. Alright, well, I get to attack you with my 7-5 once, please. That's all I want. All I want to do is attack you once with my 7-5. And then, the thing about next week, Seth, is next Thursday, I'm going to a concert. So, we're, I'm not going to stream next Thursday. Maybe I could try to do Donut X on Wednesday? I haven't decided yet, but... Mm -hmm. Men of Lethal, they attack. 7, 11, 13. They're targeting the Elf. I just killed a Stormseeker, right? I guess I was maybe supposed to target the Stormseeker before they went to combat, but... The Hive. Well, it's not lethal, right, if I fire up the Hive. Because I can't also cast the Shield Rid. I mean, it's probably good enough, right? One, two... Do I have enough to hive and... No, okay, I don't have enough to hive. I'm just going to play Shieldred and Pack Leader then. Because I, I don't have enough to hive. Well, I don't have enough to hive and, sh and Pack Leader. Yeah, they can't block this. This thing has Menace. They, even if they chump block here, they're taking nine. Which means they can't target this. I don't think they have outs. <laughs> like, I don't think they have outs. Yeah, this thing has Menace. And Hive back. One, two, three, four, animate hive. Uh, exactly enough. I mean, this is still fine. I kind of just want to play Shieldred anyways. Right? I did have enough to hive pack, though. I did have enough to hive pack. I think this is fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we are in an okay spot, chat. Gix feels good in mono block, but it's the biggest must kill thing I have. Not lost when fix is triggered. I'm considering rotting Regisaur. Running Reggie is the second two drop. Running Regisaur is the second two drop? What do you mean? Alright, game three. Bring in Thoughtseize. I don't think so. I think I'm good with this. So what? Rotting Regisaur plus plus Gix. You don't like Trespasser? I feel like Trespasser's good. Especially against Rakdos. Yeah, we're talking about Mono Black Aggro with Gix. I think Seth had like 14 one drops. I think it was like 14 one drops, four Gix. Three Trespasser, two Shieldred, and then removal spells. Well, Thoughtseize removal spells. Maybe. I, yeah, that's true. Just, like, getting the Acroan War out of their hand seems pretty important. I like this hand. 
mean, maybe not on the draw against Elf, but against, you know, everything but Elf, I think his hand's fine. You're on 11. I thought you were on, you were on, you sent me a list at 16. A demon that has spectacle, uh, spot of mayhem. I feel like that's worse than Trespasser. The guy that comes back from Bro War. Not sure which one you're talking about. What's up, Dr. Raptor? Is this deck based? Chat, is this deck based? I need to know if this deck is based. It's a good draw. They kill their elf. They have three cards. I don't think I'm supposed to kill their elf. I think I'm supposed to kill Bone Crusher. It's close. Also, I'm holding this up because if they play Stormseeker, I'd much rather kill that. Yeah, definitely killing Bone Crusher if they're attacking with elf. <laughs> This deck is faced. All right, we got a song request from Bovita. Bovita always hits me with the banger song requests. Another Bone Crusher. All right, in the queue. So they have two cards. We can play a 3-3 and pray that they don't have... Well, actually, if you play a 3-3 and they have um, a Crow and War, it's not that bad, right? Yeah, because they're a Crow and Warring the 3-3, and then I can just release and make a 7-5. So, honestly, with the second Gorger, I might just trade if they attack. Because I have a second one anyways. Yeah, I guess if they go land boat, this is bad. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. I have one card. Surely they don't have a second Akroan War, right? Right, right, right? I mean, I don't think I can play around the second Akroan War. I think I just have to go release, make a 7-5 and pass. All right, don't have a second of Crow and War, please. Please don't have a second of Crow and War. You would tell me if you had a second of Crow and War, right? You would, you would tell me? Stop! <sighs> Come on, how is, how is this my life? How is this my life? Oh, that's good. That's really good. We're still just dead to this thing, but... Odd. Go. Yeah, nice Acro and Wars. <laughs> Six life. All right, we're firing up the lair. So I got a one. So now I can make a 3-3 three, three and hold up power word kill. Wish I had a push. Yeah, if this, thing, if this was a push, man, I'd feel so much better about this game. Because if we go to one, we're going to die to a Bone Crusher, but can't do both because of River. Oh, I don't have three black. You're right. That's a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. I don't have three black. All right, what do we got? Valky, God of Lies. Er, I was thinking lead Valky because then we could take Bone Crusher Giant and then we can go Valky pass. If they fire up Lair, we have Power Word Kill. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I'm thinking about Valky. Pa I'm thinking about Valky here, because we go take Bone Crusher, then hold up the uh, the Power Word Kill. That's like worst case scenario. Yeah, we just gotta pass. I think. Do you see the truth now? No, because if I see the truth, man, they fired up the layer last turn, but not this turn. I think I have to save the Power Word Kill. Okay. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Release in the graveyard. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I guess I could go proxy power word kill, kill a token. No, you can't do that, Brad, because proxy is a 2-1. So I can't, I, if I cast this for three, I can't flashback release the wins. I can't do that. Yeah, I can double power word kill. I can go proxy power word kill... Maybe they crew that I could power word kill the chariot, attack for two, leave back proxy to chump block. I could do that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to lead proxy. I'm going to lead proxy. I'm going to power word kill a token. See if they crew. They probably just don't crew, right? I'm assuming they don't crew. Okay, they don't crew. So yeah, now we can just go attack. Yeah, I think I'm attacking here. 
Lair gains trample. No, it doesn't gain trample. I mean, the issue here is I'm at one. I have to get this game over with. I, can't, I don't think I can afford to not attack there. I'm pretty sure I have to attack. Razor Lash Transmogrant. Oh, the Black Black 3-1. Eh. You're just... Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of non-basic lands. Maybe that card's better than I think it is. I think it's terrible. It's probably worse than a lot of the two drops, but... I don't think it's, like, unplayable. You would tell me if you drew Bone Crusher Giant, right? Uh, I true besiege you. Uh... Man. Ha! Ah, frustrating game. Frustrating game. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, let's do a 3 2 prediction. I mean, those were fun games nonetheless, but frustrating way to lose. I feel like we should have won that game. Alright, 3 2. Tough matchup. I mean, yeah, it's tough when they draw a double a Crow and War every game. <laughs> Why attack? They were at 6! I have. They're at 6, and I have 2 2 ones. I have to attack. The river fucked us. So I realized after the fact that I played I played the pathway on blue, and I could have played the river instead, and then played the pathway on black the turn after. So I think I think I screwed that game up by doing exactly that. Yeah. Play around top deck Basechu chatting. Chat, I'm just gonna point out there's 492 of you in the chat. Some of you in the chat gotta have a Twitch Prime. We got we to gotta get these sub numbers up. I'm, ju I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. There's got to be some primes in the chat. If you don't know what Twitch Prime is, exclamation point Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one free sub a month to any streamer of your choice. Yeah, results-oriented thinking. You, know, you hate to see it. All right. Let's run it. Run it. Run it! I was promised to give sub, but I didn't get it. Mm, no, you just got chibated. <laughs> Yeah, GG's, buddy. Couldn't beat the second of Crown War. I think I win that game easily if you don't have the second of Crown War. I don't think I could play around it. A sweet deck for sure. Blade Chow gifting a sub to Bolt. Snap Bolt MTG. Thank you for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Let's start a train, chat. Let's start a train. One gi gifted sub from Blade Chow. Who, who, else, who else has got me? Who else has got me? All right, take it easy. Have a good night, buddy. What's up, Daniel? All right, play first. Consider Flesh Gorger five lands. Eh, we have an Odawara. I don't know. Maybe I should ship this, but let's go Wandering Grave. <laughs> yeah, ads be gone. Also, I know that I've been running a little bit more ads recently on the channel, but the best way to avoid ads is to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a subscriber, you don't get ads. Just saying. Arcane Proxy against Mono White, huh? Mm, I think I'm going to bin that. It's close. It's like kind of bad at the Athelia. Because then it's a 4 mana play. I'm going to bin it. Ooh, Pock. What happens if you target Worm with Ephemerate? Uh, it comes back as a 7-5. But we don't play Ephemerate in this format because we play with, with real cards. We don't play with fake, fake Modern Horizons cards. Twitch Turbo's good, too. Twitch Turbo's good, too. We have real cards like Release the Winds. It's not a it's not a supplemental set card. I'm just saying. Anything that's not a supplemental set is a real card. Ragavan fake card. Ren and six fake card. They're all fake. They're all fake cards that don't exist. Or are we gonna go on the the Doom hates modern rant? I I enjoy the Doom hates modern rant. It's a good rant. Supplement D's nuts. You asked, I gave it to you. Remember, if you if you resub, you gotta do the uh, the resub message, or else it doesn't pop up in chat. I do see the sub count went up, so it looks like we got a couple of subs. But if you resub, you gotta do the uh, the little message in chat. You know, if you don't see it, refresh. I'm just gonna take two. Hold up, push for Thalia. Yeah, if you refresh, it should pop up in chat, and then you get to you get turn you get text to speech, so you get to have Brian yell at you for a little bit. Everybody loves Brian yelling at them. 3-3, three, three, how do you beat it? <clears throat> the answer is very easily. Modern is the best format in Magic. No, you're, you're a commander person, aren't you? You're in that commander life. Valky, God of Lies. It's all lies. Skyclave, Adeline, Recruitment Officer. I guess I'll take Skyclave. Um, 
We have Adeline, Recruitment Officer, Brave the Elements. Oh, I guess I could have taken... I could have Valkyed the Adeline. And then Thoughtseize the Skyclave. Yeah, because I'm going to take... Yeah, maybe that's better. You're probably right. I'm going to attack first. I can't chump block. No, I probably can't attack. Yeah, Thoughtseize the Brave. Play Tap Land Pass. So this way, if they attack with Adeline, I can just block the token. And it's kind of a break even. Yeah, we can block the 1 1. We build Esper Asmo. Ooh. Is that like the uh, the time save version? All right. I will, in fact, block the token. And I will stay at 14 life. Yeah, so that attack just doesn't accomplish anything. Second recruitment officer. We know their last card's Adeline. Whoo, doggy. We just make a 7 5. Hmm. I mean, Valky, Tipalt's not really good on this board. For, you know, reasons. Oh. Uh. Well, the issue with going release Valky, get kill Adeline, is they just get the Skyclave back and then can kill the Flesh Gorger. So that's bad. Yeah, I'm thinking about just passing. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking about that line. Just go pass, block with or you know, east release Valky EOT. Yada yada. I think I'm just gonna pass and leave my options open. Cause this list this lets me just hold up the release, right? And then I can go like release Valky, untap, cast Tibalt with all my mana available. That's not great. Yeah, that's that's not great. <sighs> Matchup is tough game one without extinction event. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really think we can beat this. Go block, block, release the Valky. Go to eight. Then they can Tibalt and have a three three, but now they have Skyclave. Uh. Maybe we have outs. I don't think we do, but... Tibalt can hit release. Yeah, I guess if we release the Flesh Gorger, then they can't Skyclave it. Maybe that's our only out. We certainly can't down tick. How about a Bodyguard and a Valky? Well, Event's not main deck. Event's sideboard, so... We don't have Event main deck. I guess we can just play a bunch of dudes. So we know they have Skyclave. I can Thoughtseize the Skyclave go to 6. Thoughtseize Skyclave go to 6. Bodyguard, protect the Flesh Gorger, play Valky. Three blockers. Block, block, block. Six, go up to nine. Take three, six, seven, go to two. I guess we could also just Valky the Skyclave. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Well, I... Th mm, I feel like it's more important to protect the Flesh Gorger. Because I think I have to block with the Flesh Gorger, right? Oh, you just don't want to give them back the Skyclave. Yeah, I guess that's also reasonable. Odawara costs two. Oh, it only counts legendary creatures. It costs three now, because it doesn't count Tibalt. At eight. Yeah, I probably have to protect the Valky, right? And then just don't play the Odawara. Just pass. Yeah, Odawara costs three, Chad. It only gets discounted for legendary creatures, not, you know, legendary permanents. Dead to Muta Vault. So I'm at eight. I have three blockers. Block, block, block. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I end up going to two. Because I gain three life, go to 11. I, I go to 11 and I take nine. I could also do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this didn't matter, I guess. Uh, X freaking D, huh? Still alive? I mean, yeah, I'm alive. I don't have any outs, though. Is it really considered being alive when I don't have any outs? Alright, it's like this. Met two! Still, still alive, though. <laughs> still alive. Maybe they have a Wrath in their deck. Alright, they didn't have a Wrath in their deck. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe they play a Time Warp. Alright, Extinction Event, get in my deck. 
Uh, Duress, Brutality, Go Blank. All these cards are kind of mid. Maybe Brutality, but not like super in on it. Shieldred kind of sucks against Brutal Cathar and uh, Skyclave. And I think I'll trim one Arcane Proxy. Nah, I'll just I'll cut the Rebirth, actually. The Rebirth is actually kind of nice, though, because I can play this on three and then just block a 3-3 three, three and Rebirth it. I could kind of see the truth, maybe. Let's kind of see the truth. I really hate this Humans deck so much. Why do you hate the Humans deck? Yeah, I don't think Shieldred is good in this matchup. It's just not that great against Brutal Cathar and Skyclave. I could be convinced otherwise, but... Matchup should be good, though, right? Poly removal and Valky. Post-board, it gets a lot better. It's just like... The thing about Valky... Valky's not great if your opponent's going super wide. So, game one, when you don't have access to sweepers, it can be a little tough. But post-board with uh, Extinction Event, it gets a lot better. Don't forget, chat, if you resub... Make sure to refresh after you resub to get that notification that pops up in the, you know, show my message in chat. Because otherwise, they don't tell me who resubs, which is kind of weird. I feel like, I feel like I should be, they should notify you if somebody resubs, even if they don't put the, the resub message in chat. I think they should change that, but that's just me. Because not everybody's no, not everybody knows about that. I do love me a good Asmo deck. It's like the only deck I could stomach playing in Modern. There it is. I'm playing RDW. Thank you very, very much for the three months. Thank you for coming back for three. Hope you're having a good day today. Let's get some Doom hypes in the chat. Let's get that sub train going. Yeah, sub train in a while. Oilers. Mod check. See if they keep seven. This deck's felt okay so far. We could run it back. We could run it back. Or, or... I have I have a I have a, a sketch of a deck that I want to try out. I don't want to tell you what it is, but it, it's spicy. It do be kind of spicy. Aspirant recruitment officer Thalia's lieutenant. Kind of just want to take their one drop, make them play off curve a little bit. It also makes extinction event better if I draw it. Ooh. You don't say, huh? This is what we call a combination. How is Pioneer at the moment? Haven't played MTG for a while. Last time it was 60% mono green and red black midrange got still real quick. It is far I would say it's far from that at this point. You I mean you'll still you're still gonna play against the occasional mono green deck, but um it's not nearly as bad as it was. Not nearly as bad as it was, you know, up before. If you look at, honestly, if you look at results from, like, the most recent regional championships, Mono Green is almost nowhere to be found. It had, like, it had terrible weekends at multiple regional championships. Hmm. That card's kind of hard to beat. All right, no blocks. So, now they have Lieutenant plus two unknowns. Drew the Flesh Gorger. Is the stack empty? Unclear. With six lands on top of my deck? Eh, you know. Sometimes you have six lands on top. So I can go Flesh Gorger, Tap Land, Pass. I can go See the Truth, Power Word, Kill. That's gotta be my best line, right? See the Truth, Power Word, Kill. I kinda want a Power Word, Kill main phase to play around Brave. Yeah, so let's just go... I guess we can See the Truth first... Monogreen mid-range is performing great, nothing like Nykthos ramp. Monogreen mid-range, huh? What's uh what's what's mid-range about it? I guess we take take a proxy, because we can proxy back power word kill next turn. I think I like that. And yeah, just gonna fire this off main phase. Let's try and trade, 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 trade. Block and release. Hmm. I guess if they put a counter on this, I can just, yeah, block, release. Maybe that's better. I was thinking about trading. I think I'm just going to trade, right? Because now I can go proxy back power word kill. This is kind of close. Trash guy, thank you for that Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. What's up, noob noob? We're, doing, we're having a good time today. So we don't know... Either of their last two cards. God, this is tough. Mm. If I trade here, they go end step token, lieutenant gets a counter. And then I can go proxy flashback power word kill, kill the hopeful initiate. I 
think I, I think I want to trade. It's close. Well, if I don't trade, I can go release proxy. I wish I had six mana. Like if I had one more mana, this would be so much better. Because then I could go prototype for three, release proxy, proxy back release, release the proto release the flesh gorger, and then have a four three and a seven five. But without my sixth mana source, I think I think I just have to take this trade. Well, no, I have six mana, but I don't not next turn. You know what I mean? Is Knight's Whisper legal in Pioneer? I wish it was. Yeah, and I have another proxy too, so it's like not the worst. I want to draw something to use my the rest of my mana. Not more fucking three drops. Maybe there's a world I just play Flesh Gorger this turn. Seems kind of bad. Because if I play Flesh Gorger, they can just kill it with the Hopeful Initiate, right? Yeah, that seems kind of bad. So let's go... Proxy... Proxy back Power Word kill. Kill the Hopeful Initiate. Yeah, there is Sign of Blood. There is Sign of Blood. But that's Black Black. Mmm... I mean, if you have Gix, like if you're talking about the mono black aggro deck, I don't really think you need it in the mono black aggro deck. Proxy the truth. No, I mean my next turn is kind of rolled up. Like I have, I have good stuff to do next turn. You know, I just need to not die. <clears throat> I kind of don't want to block with the proxy this turn, but maybe I will. See what they do. They played a Ganjo. That's not good, because now I can't. Now I can't flesh gorger plus release. I could double flesh gorger, I guess. Yeah, so maybe I just go trade double flesh gorger, trade for the two two. I think I like that line. I know it sucks trading these proxies off, but I need to get creatures off of the battlefield. Can't play it for seven. All right, two flesh gorgers. You can go. Yeah, I guess event would be good. Event would be good. So now they can just put a counter on aspirant. They have three three mutabolts too. Not attacking with mutabolt. Okay. What if I double block Thalia. Double block Thalia. Um, I only gain three life. Oh, I can't double block Thalia because they have the Hopeful Initiate. Oh, God. Yeah, that's such a sick draw. Right, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, that draw step was so absurd. That's actually, like, best possible. Because now if I double block, they just get to kill a thing. Yeah, but Initiate can remove counters from any creature. It just says from among creatures you control. This card's busted. Uh, I guess Extinction Event? Chump Block? Chump Block, Peel Extinction Event? It's my only out, right? Is it even an out? Uh, gain 3, take 4, go to 8. Attack, go to 11. Event, evens. I'm at 11. They have 9 damage. I guess. I mean, I'm not even out of the woods yet with an event. Oh, I guess if I... Yeah, no, if I name even, I get to keep my Flesh Gorgers, so... Yeah, I think might be fine. Only just kill it, right? God, that's such a sick top deck. What an, what an absurd top deck. What an absurd top deck. Ugh! That's gross. That was gross. Yeah, event's not even good enough now, right? Because we event evens and they have 8 damage. Yeah, event's not, event doesn't even get us out of this. And draw it anyways, but... Man, tough, tough, tough. Tough games. Deck was sweet, though. I had a lot of fun. I definitely had a lot of fun. I hope you did, too. If you're watching this on YouTube, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You know what to do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right.